What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. I mean guys, for this video, we do have a sponsorship. Woo woo! So shout out to the Bee Palette. They sent over a box full of goodies, including this eyeshadow palette right here, which we will get into all the details. So what I did, it was a whole unboxing. I did a whole tutorial on this look and girl, you're not gonna tell me that just by looking at this, you don't wanna watch it. Like, look how stunning this cut crease came out so I did a full review a tutorial the whole shebang girl if you're brand new to my youtube channel let me kindly introduce myself my name is Alma Rivera Beauty and I love makeup girl no better like what I really do on my channel is do a lot of makeup reviews I love makeup I love getting the new launches I love explaining to you guys and doing like a first impression review on what I think about them not only that but I always include like a little tutorial inside of them and I recently started vlogging so if you guys like this whole vibe make sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell but yeah guys let's jump right into the video <laughs> Oh my god, I mean guys, it feels so good being back. So I've been like literally on a YouTube break. It's been a cool last minute since I've done like a sit down video, but I am excited. I am pumped. Let's do this. Like I mentioned, B Palette did sponsor this video. Thank you so much for reaching out and letting me try out your products. So here's a box right here. I have not opened it up. I mean, I kind of saw what was inside, but like the packaging is still intact only because I want to do like a first impression review. And uh, first of all, I think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you guys how they wrap this up. So you guys see the packaging literally has bees everywhere and it has like a little note right here as well. I think it's super, super cute. The flower is like 3 you can actually feel it this is what she looks like let's set that aside real quick and girl let's get to the palette porque ya sé that's where all the tea is at that's what y'all want to see I don't know why I get the feeling that ever since I got sick and I lost my voice like it's not back like I don't have that that full like my voice I don't know I feel like I sound different no damn girl they packaged this thing. which is a good thing girl because we know dang right this is not gonna break in the shipping process and there's more tape wow amigas miren oh my god look at this packaging it is super thick kind of feels like a whole ass like like if there's a puzzle in here or something by the way if i have not mentioned girl i am missing some nails so see me on mind your business girl don't pay attention to them um i'm going through some shit right now so we have this palette right here it is super super pretty oh girl this is literally like lord of the packaging we made sure this is not gonna open girl there's a bunch of tape everywhere and now that we got all the packaging out of the way we can open it up i like how it has this little thing that i can pull down on so i can open up this palette for you guys hold on i'm like trying to get the angle right and this is what the palette looks like look how stunning this is Yaki Tienen Amigas. This is the color story. This is what we got working with. And it also comes with a full size mirror, which girl, it is bomb. Like I can see my whole face in it. Like it is hefty, heavy duty. This palette itself is heavy duty. Inside the box, I also got some lippies and we got some lashes. So we actually have like four different pairs. So I'm gonna get to the eyeshadow part first and then we'll see what I end up using as far as the lashes and the lippies. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm wearing a yellow shirt and I wanted to kind of match with this. So I kind of want to go for like a brown, black, yellow toned look only because, you know, I want to go with the vibes of the bees and whatnot. So I think that's what I'm going to go for today. Oh, pero primero, girl, let's do some swatches. And Zayom, girl, here's the swatches of all the shades in the eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised. Like, I did not expect this like gorgeousness out of that palette. Did y'all see? Did y'all see that color story? Okay, okay, now I'm pumped. Let's get to it. So for this look, I do kind of want to go on the bold side, cut crease, colorful. So I'm going to take that matte yellow shade and I'm going to begin to tap it in right above my crease. I'm going to use this as a transitional shade. And girl, this one right off the bat is like super pigmented. And I did notice it when I was swatching it. I was like, damn, that one's powerful. So I'm going to have to go in little by little and circular motions girl you see what i mean the next shade i'm gonna take is the deep brown matte shade and i'm gonna place that right underneath that shade i'm gonna like do a smooth transition from yellow to black and you guys will see exactly how i do it in a little bit so i'm adding this shade right here it's gonna be like a mid transitional shade so i'm tapping it on first and then going in circular motions that is how i get that blend that i want 
And I'm actually liking this shade of brown. It's not too deep. So it gives me enough wiggle room to deepen it up more if I wanted to. And bam, girl, those two merged in nicely. Now let's get deep, girl. I'm going to go in with that black matte shade. I'm going to begin with the outer corner right here just because I'm a little scared about using black. I know what I want to do. But a la misma vez, I'm like, girl, be careful. When it comes to my eyeshadow looks, I literally do lo que se me pega la gana at the moment. Dude, this shade is like black, black. I'm going to go back in with that brown shade right here and just kind of blend them in. And soften up that black. So far, I'm really, really liking the formula. So let me go ahead and cut my crease off camera and I'll be right back. Girl, I, I just can't stop looking at myself. It looks so good. And I'm back. Y no es por nada, pero me pasé de chile on this cut crease because honestly, it is sharp as hell, girl. So now, let me grab the next shade, which I'm going to go in with a flat brush. I think I kind of want to go with a yellow matte. I don't know, something about that yellow shade is grabbing my attention. So I'm going to go back in with that yellow matte shade and just kind of like dab it right where I cut my crease like I said I want to stick to the whole B vibe and just make it a whole yellow moment for these type of shades I like to just tap them on rather than like brush them on because I feel like that's how you get the most uh, pigment out of them you're gonna sit here and tell me that I don't look good look at that yellow and now I'm gonna go in I kind of want to take that um orangey shade which is that like almost a neon orange, which is right here. And I'm gonna follow up the yellow and blend it into the black. Just kind of like tap it on and then blend. Damn, dude, this is, ah, oh, this look is so good. I'm following it up with that black shade and I'm kind of gonna close off the outer corner right here. Kind of like in a circular motion. This blend though, dude, like I can sit here and blend my eyeshadow all freaking day. Because it is so satisfying and how beautiful that gradient is. I'm going to add a little bit of that yellow shade and I'm kind of going to take it out towards my temples. Just right here to give it a little bit of like, mm. Let's go in with that brown shade that we used earlier. I'm going in with a really like tiny thin brush. And I'm going to go in like right underneath. Half my eye, remember, I don't drag it all the way through. Just like in that outer corner. And then taking some of that black shade and following it up. Kind of doing the same thing that I did to the top, pero to the bottom, and only in this outer corner right here. Also, let's not forget about the shimmers. I kind of want to do a little pop of something. I want to take that shade right here that's like right in the middle. It's a shimmer, and it's kind of like marbly, and I'm going to take it with a thin little brush and add it to that inner corner right here, and bam. That's what I was looking for. Girl, the inner corner. That thing is popping. Let's put a little bit right underneath the brow as well. I am satisfied with how this looks. Let me do the other eye off camera, pop on some lashes, and I'll be right back. Porque, girl, we gotta see the finished look. Alrighty, amigas, I am back. Y no es por nada. But this look is beautiful. Like, Pun intended. It is so gorgeous. I absolutely love the turnout of this. Like, girl, take a little moment to check this out because, girl, I haven't done a bold, colorful look like this in a very long time. And I'm very proud of myself right now. Oh, and by the way, I did use one of the lashes. So first of all, I want to show you guys the packaging of these little lashes. So it comes in a little heart and then you open it up like this. And here's the lash style that I use. But let me open up another one just so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the packaging, right? And when you open it up, I see the little lashes. They are so freaking cute. I love how much detail they put into all of this. Oh, and by the way, I also used one of their lippies. Um, I applied a trendsetter from Morphe lip pencil, and then I went in with their baby matte lipstick. And this one's in the shade Badass Fudge. And then I did top it off with Jaclyn Cosmetics Nudie and Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss. I literally did a whole ass combo for this look. It's just because I knew what I was going for. But all in all, girl, this eyeshadow palette is really, really bomb. Pigment is there. Blendability is there. I mean, you guys can see it for yourself on my eyes. It is absolutely beautiful. So I do highly recommend it. But that is it. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. You guys can find me at Anma Rivera Beauty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.